Okay, we've processed guitar one. We're ready to go on to guitar two. Let's solo guitar two, see what we've got. It's not bad, not bad, but I think maybe it would benefit from a uh, phase shifted sound. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that up. So I select the de delay one module because I want the next one to be right underneath it. I go to track, new, create one, new, stereo, auxiliary, create. Let's make it a little bigger so we can see. Let's name it Phase. Okay, solo safe. Uh, we're going to have to manufacture a phase shifted sound because I don't have anything that's already in the plugins. So we go to Delay. Uh, it's medium, always seems to have what we need, so we'll go ahead and use that again. Uh, let's see, a stock phase shifting sound would be, say, 38 or milliseconds or so on one side, and the other side could be like 20 something, 23, or let's go for that, 23. Depth kind of high, 80 s in the 80s on this side, 87, 80, yeah, okay. On the other side, not quite as much, maybe 40 something, 44, say. Our rate would be quite low, our rate of modulation, uh, say 0.60 or 6, 63 should work okay. And on the other side, we have maybe 0.50. Okay, there's 0.50. Let's see what this sounds like. We're not quite ready to play. We have to set up the inputs. Uh, the input to the phase will be the next available pair of buses, 5 and 6. Turn its level up. Kind of high-ish. Okay, we'll go to the track that's going to be phase shifted. And send from buses 5 and 6. Okay. Looks like everything's set up. Let's see if we hear phase. Oh, there it is. A little bit too much. Let's turn our input down. Our send. We can turn the return down a little bit also. Okay, that's pretty much the sound that I was looking for.